So this is a quick rundown of how to actually manage and play this game. It's not entirely too difficult, uh, slightly confusing at first. Uh, main tab is the home page. If you don't have Lada, buy some. And you mint a caster, and from there, we get into the gameplay each round. Effectively, it's 20 minutes long, and at the end, anyone in the world can pull the crank which ends the round. That's the most important thing. So you want to, each round, get as much done as quickly as possible to actually ensure that you get uh, either um, Era, Fire, Water, which are the tokens up here, or potentially a ladder if you've burnt anything. So the main thing is the market for now. You don't really care about that. It's not up just yet. Items. This is where you get items, obviously, where you can equip things on your casters. Now, the main important thing is below here. If you uh, loot uh, and you actually get a chest, what you want to do is you want to open them. That's the only way you can get items. And you open chests by, well, opening chests, right? So as you can see here, it's going to cost me 0 0.0075 sol. We'll approve that transaction, and as that's going, uh, we'll go continue on, and hopefully it works. The soul network at the moment is being slightly hammered, so some transactions do need to be duplicated. Now, the main thing that you'll come to is if you've played before, uh, you'll notice the screen instantly, where if you've actually done a looting phase, this is what you'll see. So how the game works is each new round, which is here, the spectator phase, or the, sorry, the re rewards phase, can't believe I said spectator, <laughs> rewards phase, that's where you effectively, you know, click and you claim, and you'll see here, for, the, for this character, I've made plus nine error. I know because that was the tile I was on. I'm going to claim that. For, for, for this one, you know, I'm just going to claim these and speed through this. Now, this transaction here, um, actually, as you can see here, I'll be getting a specific token, and I'll also be getting the 9.5 BZG. That is actually um, Lada. So on this one, because I burned something previously on this um, caster, I'll actually be getting Lada, which is very good. We'll claim that. And as you can see now, uh, just finishing this off. Ooh, uh, this one, uh, before I claim it, I'll just quickly click on it again to see if it shows me. Uh, yep, so here I'll be getting 26 ladder on that, um, just for it existing. Uh, actually, not for existing, I actually moved it to a different slot. I forgot about that. I am smart. And then we'll claim another one. And that is the main claim price. And this one also, I moved it to a different slot. That's why I get plus 52 uh, ladder. Uh, and I will continue the video as soon as the things have stopped claiming. Right, uh, there are still some crafting ones just quickly uh, claiming the rewards. So the main thing you'll notice is the map. Now, on your map, you'll see a massive tower. This is actually a grid, which is an XY grid where if you go left or right, it goes A, B and C for the column. And as you go up, well, the number dictates what it is, well, which cell it is. So this is, for example, A2, right? This is B2 c2 and that just continuously scales and what this grid map is very useful for is to plan your next move so for example if i were in this slot and i wanted to collect more water but i wasn't really sure what's going to come next i'd rather move to the next tile over and then start looting there because this number up here means how many rounds this exact tile has left before it expires and the number below means how many of your ca uh, current casters are actually on that tile, which helps especially to plan your next move and, you know, spread. So as you can see here, I've, I'm currently spam collecting wa uh, water, uh, if that's not clear. No idea why. Uh, the game apparently thinks I am I need hydration, apparently. Uh, but anyway, if we go back back to the main menu, I'm just going to refresh this. Sometimes you need to refresh. There's a slight bug when claiming reward or not rewards. Just the network is currently being hammered so it's quite difficult so i was complaining so most people are met with this screen now most people will have a caster that looks like this you won't have any colors here all that means is you've got items equipped so don't be alarmed by that we'll go through that in a second so the main thing you want to do is you want to if you have a book 
that's applicable to the cell. So if, as you so to explain that, as you can see, we've got a water cell. So ideally, I'd want a water book. Now, the water book I have here, actually, ooh, I might be actually be able to use this. So as an example, if I were to take this book, and uh, instead of using it on on that character, I'm going to use it on this one because that's a level two. Um, we will use that there. We will, even though it says transaction may fail, that's just because there's no balance changes actually happening. It's just a network read write. So don't be alarmed by that. So while that's firing off there, I'll continue to explain. So as you can see, we've got a book. And what that means is if I use this, it's going to cost me a resource, i.e. in this case, water. That just means it's a timeout. Don't worry about that. And I have a one in eight chance to gain 55 um, of the specific material based on this current book, right? So for example, this one here, I've got a one in eight chance for when I actually use this on the next loot to gain an extra 55 water, which is quite insane. Uh, for some reason, this book is just not working. Sometimes I found that the books just don't want to work. I do believe it's a bug that's currently being fixed. So I'm just quickly going to... Oh, that's the wrong item. I do apologize. Uh, and then we just, I'm just going to try and use this book again. But most people are met with this. Now, what this means is at the moment, you'll want to click loot. Uh, we'll go and we'll loot. And I'll explain this in a second. So uh, before I loot there, so I'm just going to spam through this. Give me a second. Brilliant. Uh, now that these have currently been queued, if the transactions go, that's great. But the other thing is, as you can see, I've made so far today i've actually made about five thousand ladder which is not too bad uh that i've actually minted currently oh uh an extra five uh casters which is very nice i started with three initially which are my level twos uh which you can actually see level two level two and level two i started with them initially and now i've bought uh even more and I'm, uh, so i'm just going to mint one just right now as you can see you know mint boom going uh and the main thing now uh, to remember is the flow of the phases so we start with the rewards phase which is where you have the rewards claim button which you click and you can claim your rewards and then the secondary phase is where you equip items which is this menu here uh, now, obviously, as you can see, I've got a lot of items. Now, one thing to note is once you enter the action phase, you can't equip an item. As you can see, I'm currently in an action phase. So if I were to try and equip this hat on this uh, lovely little caster there, you'll see if I were to... I'm not going to approve it, but it's going to throw me an error, an application error. Uh, that's because we, we can't do this this turn because we've missed the equipment phase. Now you go, you move on from the equipment phase by mo looting, moving, or using an ability effectively, or crafting in that case. So anything from the caster page will move you into the action phase and then you can't equip. So make sure if, for example, you know everything you have is on water cells, it might be beneficial to swap everything else. As you can see here, I've got a triple fire stack. This is technically useless for this current tile, which is C1, which is here, but the I don't have anything worth swapping out because that's currently got rows equipped, so it's not really worth me trading them out for now. Technically, I could, but uh, details, details. Uh, but anyway, back back to the main page, uh, which is here. Now, if uh, that's still going, which is nice. So effectively, how it works is you use an ability. Now, if this ability actually fires off, which we'll hopefully be able to do in a second, you should see that this becomes locked. When you see the little lock icon, it means that that transaction was successful. So you can see here, these don't have locks because they're still executing. Doesn't have a lock, doesn't have a lock because they've not executed. So we're just going to redo the transaction again because uh, these transactions do tend to fail more often than not. Um, but then again, after that's been done, the main thing you want to keep in mind is your burning. So most, most people, the most common question in the service is how do you earn ladder? That's by burning tokens. Uh, now, you may be confused about what that means. Well, as you saw previously on this page here when I was here, if I use an ability, it requires this resource, correct? What that means is whenever you use a resource to do anything, such as using an ability, uh, or for example, if I wanted to move this character to the right, you'd see it cost me 10, and that's burn. So whenever you actually use a resource, you get rewarded next turn in ladder. 
So a good example would be if, for example, I don't want to move any of my characters now, I'm happy where they are, but I am currently leveling up this caster right here. So a good thing to do now, or not good thing to do, but what I'll show you, is you'll click on them, you'll see a button add XP. If you click on that, you'll be able to instantly add XP. Now, I typically recommend, if you're starting out, to usually have a reserve of about 25-ish. So I'm just going to drop it to 60. I know that's not 25, but that's just for my sake. The reason for 25 is if you get to level 2, it means you can move them one floor up. And if you want to craft, you can actually craft. Because crafting requires 5 of each resource at the moment. I'm not sure if the higher level you get, that might change. It might become more expensive, etc. But as you can see, I want to burn these. So I'll uh, uh, accept them for burn. We'll approve that. And I also want to burn some of the fire tokens. So for that, I'm just going to burn 18. I don't really care about the extra five I could burn. And then we'll approve that. And that is effectively how the game works. Now, what I'll do is I'll pause the video and then as soon as the game phase is done, which is in about three minutes, uh, if I can actually <laughs> make it to that, because it seems that the transactions are dying due to uh, Solidity not wanting to live apparently today. Uh, yes, uh, I will see you in three minutes. So the round is not over, but I thought I'd quickly explain a process. Uh, obviously, some of my transactions are still failing. That's just the nature of the beast. But when a round is over, or turn, you'll see this icon. If you click on it, you can see someone can pull the crank. As I mentioned, you know, that will move the turn. So if I were to do that, it would cost me 0.0023 soul, which is not bad. It translates to about 10 cents ish. And then that means everyone can claim their rewards, get their lot or whatever and it just moves the game along and i'm going to continue trying to actually get it to work because as i said the, the solana network as you can see here it's currently being hammered it's not doing too well today but that's okay uh we live by that so i'll see you in a bit right brilliant back now as you can see our round is over now some tiles we can't claim because we fail to actually be able to do something because the network is obviously a bit wonky as i said um, but as we can see here, this is a perfect example of a craft tile. Now, as you may, as I mentioned previously, there are multiple tiles, and as you can see here, we've got a craft tile. Now, what that means, if I click on my character, now before I do that, if we look at our items, you can see we basically have three set, three rarity sets, right? We've got hats, robes, and staves. Books don't really count; they're disposable items. Don't worry about them. Um, so what that now means is I could go into this i could go here i could select my robes and i could select uh three robes so yeah honestly i don't really care about that i don't care about these and i could do this right but if i do that now i can't equip or de-equip items which you don't want i want to actually equip some items on my sfwe right so for example on sfwe uh there's nothing under that i can do brilliant so now i want to see maybe there's like a fire i could equip there's not so i'm just going to equip the hat and i'm going to equip a couple of items and then i'll be back right so the network's actually a bit alive now and as you can see you know um everything's been equipped there's my two lovely items i equipped on my character i'm in the equip phase if i want to do i could equip a stave i don't want to and as you'll notice my actual currencies went up uh, the main one obviously being ladder uh which is very good that means i can actually pretty soon i should be able to create two more if i wanted i'm actually going to try to go to 10 uh just for now just because it might become a bit difficult the more i have and with soul being kind of in a wonky spot but also as you can see here i've actually got a chest right so i have three chests which i can which i'm actually going to plan on opening so i'm actually going to just spam open all three uh, there we go. Uh, the reason why I'm saying the transaction may fail to confirm is it obviously just assumes I only have one chest which I want to open, so it's just thinking I'm doing duplicate transactions. But as I've got three chests, that doesn't matter. They'll just stack on top of each other and execute that way. So for that, I'm actually using about uh, 0 0.021 soul to open three chests and it's got a confirmation the one chest has actually been opened uh, i've got a notification on my phone of the the soul actually being transacted so if we do a check oh and 
that's actually really, really nice. Wow. I'm just going to open this chest real quick as well. I actually got a rare. Oh, I can equip this on my SF. Actually, I'll equip it on another one. I want to see if I can get the other one to a full uh, uh, like chest set. But as you can see here, we actually dropped a rare hat, which is not bad. Uh, this is really good for fire tiles. So, yeah, the, 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 that's the gist of the game. You effectively move them around, you use abilities, you loot the tile, you craft something if you want to craft, and then next round you claim your rewards and you do shit with it. And yeah, that, that's about it. I hope you enjoy the game. If you do want to get a better breakdown of what the actual game is like and the plans, if you head to their official website, which will be in the description, uh, yeah, as you can see, I've been here. If you head to the white paper and the items, it'll actually give you a breakdown of the items, the marketplace, the seasons, and what's planned. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you do enjoy the game, uh, give it a try, and hopefully I'll see you on the Discord.